हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस साइड राहुल मगन हेयर एज अ चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल कंसल्टिंग एल एल पी एंड टूडे वी वुड बी कवरिंग द वीडियो विच इज द क्वांटो कॉन्स्टेंट ट्रेजरी मेच्योरिटी स्वैप प्रीवियसली वी हैड अ वर्ड ऑफ द स्ट्रेट सी एम एस वेर इन यू हैव अ वन फ्लोट वन साइड यू हैव अ डॉलर एंड अदर साइड यू हैव द यूएस गवर्नमेंट दे आर पेइंग टिप्स which is interest over interest so make sure that your your real interest rate will never uh, will never be negative and i hope you remember that i told you that there are four ways cmt can be configured number one when you have a asset here and you have a asset on the other side when you have a asset here you have a liability on the other side when you have a liability on the one side you have a asset on the other side and when you have a liability and the liability these are the four ways it can be configured here it's again an example of that but this time is a quanto cmt quanto is a very beautiful word and i wanted to tell tell you that when in the first time of 5 years down 5 years ago i was reading about quanto i was very happy that i learned something new quanto is a is a very fancy word you know i don't know why people are using quanto when the same could be explained using a very simple word called cross currency but quanto is a very fancy word i like this word very well so quanto quanto uh, constant maturity swap means let us take two counterparties one counterparty is anz sydney australia new zealand bank my favorite bank and other side you have uh, securities a long term bonds 30 years then you have a coupon l plus 250 basis point which is uh, uh, this l is not dollar l this is an australian dollar uh okay uh, let us take aud although i know that libor is not available in the, in the in in the aud just for the sake of an example right so you have currency aussie dollar and type is a liability so this is a liability in the books of anz sydney right and other side you have westpac which is again an australian bank here the security is italian bonds it means it's an investment westpac sydney invested in italian bonds but the scene is they are getting coupon in euro plus 75 basis point euribor plus 75 basis point so they are getting money in euro repricing in 6 months again a scene here the repricing is 3 months here the repricing is the 6 months currency is euro type is an asset so we are here one side you have a liability and one side you you would have an asset before explaining i would like to tell you one thing very clearly and i don't want you to put the name of somebody that majority of the time the the documents of the derivatives which we have on the internet they are not telling you these kind of things if you if you if you take that the definition of the cms or uh, cmt from the internet you 99% you get to know that this is all about float to float swaps but this is not ideally the case every time it is not float to float there are many things sometimes you have fix to fix swap also you have quanto swap also in this no with no one will tell you that you have the liability to asset swap also in cms now when the anz sydney person will interact with the westpac he believes that the the the, the payment which is doing which is australian dollar or take it as a dollar because australian dollar is not uh, in libor he believes that the payment which he is doing in dollar terms which is l plus 250 basis point this would rise because he thinks that federal reserve would rise or would rise the rates on the other hand westpac thinks that the euribor will rise because of the french election and the ecb and, the, and there is no disintegration which would happen in in the in in, in the european union so they wanted to swap their liability but the point is repricing is in risk here it is uh, wrongly written 3 months this is 6 months the issue is anz is paying dollars but getting euro so there is a cmt which is getting created which is euro dollar cmt that needs to be hedged number 1 that needs to be hedged number 1 if not hedged then there should be a counterparty position which means that there should be some liability of euro in anz books because if i am getting a euro income i should have a euro liability so that they, it it's a natural offsetting and here they should have some dollar liability so that if we are getting dollar income there should be a dollar liability which can offset each other right but there is again a scene here in cmt which is that the repricing here is 6 months and here the repricing is 3 months 
it means that the interest rate is determined three months here and it is determined six months here. I will, if I am a trader in ANZ, I will definitely not do that kind of swap. I am saying I am getting repriced after three months. You are getting repriced after six months. Then I need to add something, which is known as, uh, let me write here, which is known as conversion of six months Euribor to three months Euribor. And that I am going to be done via the grade which is quoted by the largest liquidity provider of this globe, which is ICAP. And sometimes it is known as ICAP adjustment. So the actual rate which I would be paying, it would be Euribor plus 75 basis point plus ICAP. Because I need to add the ICAP adjustment and remember this fact carefully, this ICAP adjustment is fixed. It is not variable. So sitting today, if a six months ICAP adjustment is 10 basis point, assuming, then he is transferring Euro, Euribor plus 75 basis point plus 10 basis point. So the actual payment which is happening is the Euribor plus 85 basis point. This is the actual payment which Westpac is doing. Of course, uh, to mitigate the cross currency risk, there are two options. Uh, option number one is uh, ANZ Sydney should have an income in, uh, should have a liability in Euro. Because you are getting income in Euro, you should have a liability in Euro. On the other hand, uh, on the other hand, the Westpac who is getting a dollar income, they should have a dollar flows also. So that they can offset each other. If you do not have that, then again, the same question would be emerging, which is ANZ Sydney have to do the principal only swap, which is Euro dollar and Westpac is again have to do the Euro dollar uh, principal only swap if they do not have that. But this way, one party who, who is have a liability and another party who has an asset can mitigate the flows by talking to each other and one side you have a liability, one side you, you would have an asset. But never think that this is a TRS. This is not a TRS. There is a big difference between total return swap and quanto swap. Big difference between total return swap and, and, and a quanto CMT. But the only difference is that in this quanto CMT, we won't be having a, a, an American government here. We are having a, almost a triple-rated rated security here, which is again a flaw. Majority of the time, we tend to appreciate that the second party, which is here, is always a, always a, always a sovereign uh, party. No, it is not always sovereign party. Yes, it should be a triple-A party. Henceforth, I have deliberately chose a name Best Pack, which is a triple-A party. And this is an example of how a Conto CMT can be created in Australia when one side you have ANZ Sydney and one side you, you would have Westpac Sydney. So it's, it's doing in Australia. With this, uh, we would like to thank you very much. In case you have any question, you can come to us www.tragedyconsulting.in. My mobile number is 9899242978 and my Skype ID is Rahul5327. Email is rahul.magan at the rate tragedyconsulting.in. We are doing a lot of actions. Stay in touch. We keep you posted. If you wanted to join our WhatsApp group, join me at 9899242978. Thank you and have a wonderful time.